all seen those amazing mouth-watering food photos on social media. Well, I'm here in Paris to meet Laura, who's a food photography expert, to learn all about the basics when it comes to using natural lighting, finding your style, and just getting those beautiful images. Let's go find out. Ashante. Nice to meet you. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, it's okay. It was very cute. For those who don't know who you are, could you introduce yourself? I'm a food photographer and content creator, mainly in Instagram. What kind of things are we going to be covering today? Easy setups when you go to restaurants and you just want to have a nice picture of your food. Nice. And what kind of skills do we need for that? A camera. Okay. And you need to be hungry because after the photo shoot, you need to eat what you ordered. Very oh, important. That's the bit that we're going to bring <laughs> to the, the best table. part. <laughs> Talking about food photography for social media, where do we begin when it comes to creating those for, for social? I look at the pictures of the place, like to see the colors of the table, of the plates, the best table to be able to take my picture. And it's usually by the window, so I'm looking for this particular table. Why is natural light so important? With this kind of light, you will see the food will look amazing. Talk me through our setup today, the plan. I'm going to order a few dishes and we are going to see how to create a setup to do a nice picture. So we are going to set up the mood for breakfast. Okay. So for example, I don't think you need olive oil for your <laughs> breakfast. Maybe for dinner. So this kind of stuff, we are going to take them off. Okay. We don't mind if people are going to stare at us. I want people to focus on the on the food, so I don't want the accessories to take... Take away from the story. Yes, exactly. Okay. I just like when it's filled, but not too much. I'm going to take the picture from here. Okay. To take all the table and the atmosphere. You have the light, you have the walls, you have the dishes, the coffee, some accessories to set up the mood. I think we are all good to take the picture. So today we are going to use the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. For the lens, I have the 35. And I'm going to explain you why I have this one. You are far enough to take the whole table, but you can also do nice focus if you want. Right. But you can also do a flat lay. Basically, it's picture from the top. Gotcha. And amazing yes. thing, this camera, it's the screen. Because you can put it this way. So when you take the picture, you can see what you're doing. To sum up very quickly, I had the newspaper, the juice, the pastries, two coffee, the glasses here to separate them and the other one just there. I put the bag at the back because we are sharing the moment with someone. And the one last thing we are going to do with this setup is to put some maple syrup on the pancakes. That looks so good. Looks even better now. You're making me hungry. One thing which is very nice with this camera as well, it's when you do the settings, you can see the difference straight, straight away, away. straight uh, away yeah, on yeah. the screen. You can also do the screenplay, so I can take the picture just doing and this. Tap. Nice and easy. Easy, right? When you do something more complicated, like you have to yeah, hold yeah, the camera yeah. like this, same, just tap, one click, tap and one yeah, tap, yeah. and you can take the picture. Nice. I'm going to change the aperture here, mm -hmm. so um, to 4.5, and then yeah. I can click. Ooh. And the lighting and the, is so good as well. Yeah, this is the natural light, natural light of yeah, course, yeah. Okay. and the lens. Like I said, it's very bright. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the combo of the two of them the two things make together. it very easy. How do you strike the balance between what you want to shoot versus what Instagram wants or social platform wants you to shoot? Well, I think you just need to find balance between what you like and what Instagram wants. Doing what you think is sustainable for, for longer periods. Yes, exactly. Amazing. Okay. And that's why I'm here for like six years now or oh. seven. And there's more to come, there's more to yes, come. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> well, 
Well, Laura, thank you so much for your time. I think as beginners in our audience, we've learned so much yeah. from this today to get started. Any final thoughts from you? Practice makes perfect. So there, this is the best advice I can give you today to improve your skills in food photography. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to get back into yeah. this. <laughs>